is Jo Marie Domino and welcome to my channel. I have a couple of really fun DIY projects that you can do for the holidays. I'm going to start with this sled I got from the Dollar Tree. It was so much fun to make it. I actually have two projects. Then I'm going to move on to these wood slices that I got and we're going to make some ornaments. They're so cute. You're going to want to give them as gifts. Then I'm going to show you some napkins as I go along so you can see some of the things I used when I was creating them, and I get my napkins from Vippy's Designs, www.vippies.com. I'm going to take you step by step as I usually do, and I'm going to give you some of the best tips, and I'm going to even show you some of my favorite products, snow text that I've just started to use. I came across these glitters. I love them. As a matter of fact, I just ordered some more. And I'm also going to show you, I showed it to you a few times, but if you're new, this is a little sander, which is really nice, very helpful for your projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino, and go to my Facebook page. You can like and follow me there. I post many more things. All right, so let's get started. Here's my little wooden sled. I got it at the Dollar Tree, and you can look at places like Hobby Lobby and Joann's. I heard other craft stores were selling them. Now, I want to take the hanger off, and I'm going to try to do it without cutting, and there you go. Now I can reuse it. I want to give it a coat of white paint. Now, I'm using white chalk paint because that's what I use mostly. That's what I have on hand, but you can use any white acrylic paint that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one coat of paint. I'm not going to need to do do more than one coat because the wood is so light. I am, however, going to go around and do all of the edges because the edges, they're very dark and I think it would distract from the napkin. Okay, now I'm going to let it dry. Now that it's dry, I want to do the runners. Now I'm going to do the runners in gray paint. I was originally going to do metallic, but I felt it would be too shiny and I want this to look a little bit more rustic and country. All right, so I'm gonna take my angle brush. I love my angle brush, and you'll, I'll show you uh, later why I really like these brushes. I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm going to give the sides, the little rails, a coat of gray paint. I'm only gonna to need to use one coat. Again, I'm looking for something that looks rustic, so I don't want it too, too perfect. Now that I've done the outside rails, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside as well. And I'm gonna give it one coat, the same thing. I'm gonna let it dry. Look at that, it's all dry, it looks really nice. I love that gray up against the white. And this is why I like my angle brush. I can get right into those little spaces. Look at that, I love that. All right, I'm gonna finish up this other side so that all of the gray will be done. It's all dry and now I'm ready to show you the napkin I'm going to be using. It says Winter Blessing, a beautiful bird. It's gonna look so good on that sled. This is the napkin I'm going to be used. It's actually half of one of the larger napkins. I'm putting a little bit of Mod Podge between my fingers because I only use that top printed ply when I'm doing decoupage. I'm gonna hold it up there so you can see, it's so sheer, you can see right through it. And I'm able to position the bird perfectly. I am gonna take the word blessings. I'm gonna put it down there on the bottom. So here's my water brush, it has water in the tube. It feeds out through the brush. And now I can go all along the image that I want and and do a very soft tear. I don't want a straight edge, I want it to blend in. Okay, now let's take a look at it with the edge that's torn. It didn't really matter because you couldn't see it anyway. And I want to take a look and see where the word blessing is going to go because I want to position the napkin properly. All right, so I'm taking a little bit of Mod Podge and I'm going to coat just the sled part itself, not that top part, just the sled part. And I'm going to do one coat nice and even, and then I'm going to let it dry. Now that it's dry, I'm ready to go in and put on coat number two. And you might be wondering, why is she putting the glue on and letting it dry? Well, I'm going to show you in a few minutes why I'm letting the glue dry. And as you can see, I have used way too much glue there. So I have another sled I'm going to be doing anyway. So I'll just share the glue. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get this glue spread out and nice and even. And then I'm going to put it off to dry. Ah, <sighs> a lot of glue there. 
Now that the second coat is dry, I'm going to take my napkin, I'm gonna lay it down there and I wanna line it up. You can see why we use that top ply. Now I'm going to be applying this with my iron. I'm using what's called the iron on method. If you've never tried it, it's really amazing. I'm putting a piece of baking parchment on top and I'm gonna take my iron, I'm gonna run it along the napkin like that. And what's happening is the glue is melting and the napkin is adhering perfectly. Make sure it's cool before you pull off the parchment paper and take a look at this. It looks so beautiful. I love the iron on method. If you haven't tried, you have to give it a try. All right, there's the little wording I took off, blessings. And I'm going to put that down there in that little space under the bird. So I'm just gonna apply the Mod Podge using a brush right there underneath the bird and I'm going to press it down and I'm going to make sure I have it in a good position just use my brush just to make sure I get it nice and flat and once I get it down and it's flat I'm going to give it a little bit of time to dry because you know what once it's dry I'm going to go in there and I'm also going to use the iron-on technique to make sure that it's well adhered really looks good on there and you know Layering napkins is okay as long as the one underneath is completely dry. All right, let's take a look. Looks perfect. I love that. And I was able to reuse part of the napkin, and I like that it has a little bit of wording. Now, what are we going to do about the edge? Well, I'm not going to sand the edge off this time. I decided I wanted to actually tuck the napkin underneath, and I think by doing a tear, uh, it would look better that way. All right, so there's the napkin that I used, so you can see. And that's the bow I'm going to be putting on it. But we're going to let it all cool off. We're going to go to sled number two. This is the napkin I chose for sled number two with the barn and the red truck. It's really cute for Christmas. And I removed that top ply. Remember, we only used the top printed ply with decoupage. And in this particular case, I'm also using the wording. I'm taking that off of the napkin. But that means I have to make sure I have that other napkin positioned well so that that season's greetings is going to fit there right above the barn and it looks really good to me. So we're going to take a piece of baking parchment just like we did with the birdie and that's going to protect the iron and the napkin and let's see um, the iron is all ready to go and we're going to run it over the parchment paper just like I did before and the glue is melting and the napkin is adhering perfectly to the sled. And whenever you do this, you want to make sure it's cool before you remove the parchment paper. And then let's take a look. I love this method. Look how nice it is. Oh, you have to try it. And you know what's great about this? No wrinkles. All right. Now, let's put on the little season's greetings. And in this case, I'm not going to have to put glue underneath it because there is glue on the sled. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the parchment paper on top and I'm just going to run my iron over it. So the glue's melting and the season's greetings is going to be adhered well, just right to the top of the sled. And let's take a look. Oh, it looks perfect. I love how that came out. All right, now we have that extra napkin hanging along the side. And what are we gonna do? We're going to sand it off with this little sander. I love this. You can remove the sandpaper when it gets to be no good. It doesn't do a good job anymore. And now you can have a nice fresh piece put on anytime you want. And now I'm going to be using a downward stroke like that. And that's going to remove that excess napkin perfectly. And what's nice is with this sander, you can even do curved surfaces like that. Came out really nice. All right. So this is the bow I made. So that's going to go up as well, but not until I'm done. So here's both sleds. I already did this with the birdies. I added some snow and I'm going to do the same thing with the truck and the barn. I'm using snow text. This is like an artificial snow. It's good for crafting. And I have a little crafting knife and I'm going to apply it right onto the sled and I'm putting it where the snow is and I'm just dabbing it on. It really gives extra dimension whenever you're doing winter projects with snow. And I'm gonna go all along the truck as well. And when I'm done using this fabulous snow text, I'm gonna go in with extreme glitter and add some glitter to both of them just to give it a little bit extra shine. Then I'm gonna add the bows. 
a quick look at some of the things I use before I go to my next project. All right, these are things I've used in a lot of videos and the ones that I also used in this video. I'm going to start with the Mod Podge and I use the matte variety for most of my projects. You don't have to buy a big one. You could buy a little one from the Dollar Tree. This is my water brush. I use this to cut out the images of napkins. The water feeds from the tube through the brush. This is the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. This happens to be the paint. One of my new favorites, which is the Snow Text, does such a great job at adding that uh, faux snow finish to a lot of our projects. I really like it. I bought the big tub because I knew I was going to use it a lot. Okay, now my sander, little finger sander. I love this. You've seen me use this as well. The little piece of sandpaper can be changed. And my craft iron, the Cricut iron. I've had it for a while. No problems. Has a nice little tray it sits on. Now we're on to our next project, which are these wood slices. I absolutely love them. Makes such great ornaments. Wait till you see what I do. Okay, there's a few steps I want to give you first. I have some really good tips with working with these. Um, these actually presented a few challenges. I was surprised. But so you want to take a towel and wipe down and try to get off the loose debris. Number two is you want to put the eyelet in, all right? These came with the eyelets and they also came with a little hole pre-drilled. So I just took it with my fingers and I kind of got it started. And then to finish putting it in, it really helped that I had a plier and I was able to get the eyelet all the way in and secure. It's important to put that in because you want to know where the top is. Next, I'm going to, this is a big tip, okay? I'm going to actually seal the edges of these wood slices because that wood, that bark just kept flaking off. By putting the Mod Podge on this, letting it dry, it's going to seal the um, bark and it's not gonna keep flaking off. Next up is the napkin. So I picked this really cute snowman and I'm going to take off that top layer because remember we only use the top layer with decoupage. Little glue between my fingers and I was able to get that bottom layer right off. So now I'm going to line up the snowman on the wood slice and you can see the edge of the slice so it's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to take my water brush that's got um, a tube of water, water feeds through and comes out through the brush. And I'm going to trace around it and I'm just using the slice of wood itself as a guide as I go all along. Water is cutting into the napkin making it very easy for me to tear apart. And of course I'm getting a piece of napkin that fits absolutely perfect on top of the wooden slice and let's take a look. Next, we're on to giving them a coat of white paint. This is just plain white paint. Put your paint in a little container so any wood that might come off, you're not going to contaminate a big jar of paint. And I'm going to go around and I'm giving them one coat of paint. And I'm going to do all three of those. And when I'm done, I'm going to hold it up so you can see. See, that's why you have to have a little separate container for your paint. And we're going to put them off to dry. Now it's time to adhere the little pieces of napkin. And, you know, I went ahead and I did a bunch of other ones that I can show you. So they're all ready to go. And the partridge one, actually, that's two little pieces of napkin that go together. You'll see what I do with that one. All right. So let's start with the snowman. He's very cute. And I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm going directly from the bottle right onto the piece of wood. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to spread out the Mod Podge and make sure I get a nice, even coat. I want to go right to the edges. Take the snowman napkin and just put it down. Use my fingers to smooth it out. But I am going to take a piece of plastic. That's a plastic bag. And just make sure it's nice and well adhered and smooth to the piece of wood. Let's take a look. Now we're going to go to the next piece. And whoops. I'm going to again put the a Mod Podge on nice and even to the edges. And I'm going to take the little chuck with that barn, love this napkin, smooth it with my fingers. Piece of plastic bag, and I'm gonna rub it nice and smooth again. Really a cute napkin. All right, carefully lift the plastic. Now that looks really good. Now we're gonna to go to the partridge, and the partridge is actually gonna be two sided. Actually, I'm gonna do all two sided, but this particular one, they're going to go together. So put the partridge down, I'm smoothing with my fingers, I'm kind of tapping down those frayed edges, but I'm still gonna put the piece of plastic and smooth it all the way down. And then let's take a look. Oh, I love the partridge with the pears. All right, so there's the partridge, there's the barn, and there's the snowman. 
Now we're on to adding some glitz. I'm using the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. I'm going to give it a quick roll to make sure it's well mixed. Now I'm going to put it into a container. I'm not going to dip my brush right into it like I usually do because I don't want any loose pieces of wood to go into the main bottle. So it just works better that way. Um, the more I did this, the more I realized that these things really do shed. That's why it's so important to seal the edges. All right, I went all the way across it looks really good. Now I'm going to do the truck. And this is actually sealing them as well because there is glue inside the um, Mod Podge Extreme glitter. So it's actually given me a little bit of a sealant as well. All right, there they are. Let's put them off to dry. On to my next step where I want to add a little bit more embellishment. And this time I'm going to put on some fake snow, the Deco Art Snow Text. I love this stuff. When you open up, you can see how fluffy it is. And I'm using a little plastic craft knife to dab it on. So you're going to take this and put it wherever you want. So I decided I'm just putting this stuff all over the edges. I'm going to put it where there is snow already. And that's going to dry hard. It's not going to stay soft. So just go wherever you want. I went over the bark and around. I really loved it. And this is what I ended up having when I was done. I just went all the way around. I did some on the truck. Um, absolutely love this stuff. Then onto the snowman. And I did kind of the same thing. I just put a ton of it on. I loved how it looked. So wintry and festive. All right. Now that I've done that, we're going to put those off to dry. Love this stuff. Again, it's Deco Art Snow Tech. Now onto the partridge, so I'm doing a little bit different and be very mindful of where you place the napkin so that when they hang, you see what I mean? You want to make sure they're in the right position. I'm not using snow on the partridge. I'm going a little bit more elegant. So I'm using gold rub and buff. It's a paste. I'm putting it on a rag. Do not put this on with your fingers. It's very hard to get off. And I'm just dabbing it along that bark, but I'm also putting a little bit onto the front. It's really pretty. Time to add a little bit more glitz. And I'm using a Delta product cream coat. It's called Glitter Explosion. And you're going to see why. I'm going to roll it a little bit to mix it all up. And I'm going to hold this up because I already did some of the snowman. Look at that. Look at all that sparkle. All those beautiful colors in there. They call it hologram. I'm applying it with a knife. It is suspended in, I'm going to say, a clear glue. It adheres really, really well. It spreads fabulously. I couldn't believe how easy it was to put this on top of the snow. And look, it's so pretty. Definitely something very festive to add to any of your Christmas creations, especially things that have snow. Now look at this Santa. I did his hat and his pom-pom. Look how pretty. It almost gives it a three-dimensional look. And here's another one I did with the snowman. A little bit less snow. Really came out pretty. I did go ahead and do a frame. I had to show this to you with the fake snow. And I put the glitter explosion right on top. All right. I'm going to finish this and let it dry. Here's a look at my finished projects. These are the beautiful wood slices I did with napkins and Mod Podge. And then I added all that fake snow and the glitter and they came out so pretty. And we also did these beautiful sleds. In fact, I did two for you. And I took you step by step as I usually do. I even showed you a couple of new products that I absolutely love. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, please subscribe to Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino and follow and like me on Facebook where you'll see more of my decoupage DIYs.